All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's charting session. No, uh, as I mentioned through the community tab the other day, uh, medyo malilate din yung pag-upload ko for today, and I do apologize. Uh, minsan sa gabal yung real life, eh, no? so uh, may kinailangan lang ako ay nasikaso, kaya wala ako nun nag-close yung market. Okay, uh, but we're gonna start now, and we'll try to uh, make up for yung pagiging late ko ng konte, ha? Huh? Sa mga di pa po nakakaalam, what we do here is we take a look at yung mga trending names and we base that sa list na generate ng Investagrams. So if you use Investagrams as your charting provider or your charting platform, you usually find that list on the right-hand side of your screen. Kumukuha rin po tayo ng mga chart requests. So kapag meron kayong mga requests, meron kayong mga gustong patignan sa akin, please feel free to post them in the comment section below and I promise I will get to all of them. Okay, minsan-minsan nga lang may nami-miss ako. It's just because of the way na YouTube presents yung mga comments sa akin. Minsan nasa sapawan or minsan kapag part siya ng isang mas mahabang thread, di ko na nakikita yung update. And I do apologize, but uh, kapag nakikita ko naman, uh, tinatry ko ihabol or tinatry ko talaga gawin para lahat ng tao na pagbibigyan ko. No? Uh, let's start today's daily charting session with PICOR. Okay? So ano nga ba ang nangyari sa PICOR? So we pushed high here, created this high, made this swing low, formed a lower high, tapos nag-confirm na tayo today na nag-form tayo ng lower low. So because of this, uh, mas hindi na maganda yung itsura ng chart niya. No? I am not saying na hindi na siya tataas. Ha? Possible pa rin na mag-form lang to, parang magmalaking flag siya down, but it's not looking very bullish right now. Uh, as we discussed before, kung nabasag tong area na to, what we don't want to see is surprise to retest it from underneath here. Maghold yan kasi likely we come back and maybe uh, try and refill this gap here. Or if that breaks pa rin, maybe all the way down here sa 3.2. Okay? So, something to watch out for lang in case may hawak kayo. Assuming hindi pa na trigger yung mga trail stops nyo, which I assume for the most part kung may hawak man kayo nito, uh, dito pa lang sa unang dip na to, baka marami ng trail stops na na-trigger. At kung hindi man, I am sure sa second dip na to, uh, karamihan ay na-trigger na. Okay? So, konting ingat lang po doon. What we want to see if we're bullish ng PICOR is for it to reclaim this area sooner rather than later, break above tong 3.8 na to, maybe hold above it, then let's see kung mabasag niya tong uh, lower high dito and maybe come back and tag tong 4.05 na hindi nabasag from before. Okay, price tried it here. Hindi kinaya, tatlong beses. Tapos doon tayo nag-move down. So let's see kung mabasag natin tong 3.95. Let's see if we can head to 4.05 and try again. Yun yung mas bullish na scenario. But right now, um, personally, uh, I wouldn't try to catch this where it is. I'll wait and see kung mag-print siya ng bullish structure before jumping in para lang kahit pa paano may confirmation, kahit sa lower time frame man lang. And what that means is, kung anumang system ang ginagamit nyo, diba? be sure lang na meron kayong trigger kahit na dito sa daily o gusto nyo kahit sa slightly lower time frame, hourly, 30 minutes, so I have you, bago kayo pumasok, rather than just trying to catch it where it lies. Okay? Baka medyo mas risky kung ganun yung gawin. Alright? If we draw the fibs from uh, etong low to etong high, uh, nasa 50% tayo nag-bounce. No? Again, possible na price comes back, fills this gap, which is again, incidentally around 61.8%. Then let's see what it does from there. Okay? Moving on, let's take a look at all HC. So all HC, ang nangyari ngayon is nag-form tayo ng malaking range dito. Okay? Uh, yun na yun eh. Parang we tried to push back up, umabot tayo dito sa mga uh, cluster of highs na to, push back down, so mukhang in the interim, mag-range muna siya. Whether mag-hold tong area na to, tong 5.5 na area, then we start pushing higher again from there, tightening the range remains to be seen. But for now, ang pinakamasasabi talaga natin is price seems to be forming a larger range in this area here. So that's from uh, roughly 5 pesos hanggang 6 pesos na area, no? More or less. Okay? Uh, until price decides to break out from chop, 
mahirap din tayo mag kung ano ba talaga gusto nating gawin. Yes, we can try to catch it dito at support. Hope it holds, but uh, that's personally never been my style. I would rather see bullish structure kahit again, similar sa ano, kahit sa lower time frame before jumping in. Okay? So what we don't want to see dito is your price to break below etong 4.75 na area altogether, test this white zone from underneath, mag-hold, baka mag-break, balikan na natin tong 4.3 na area. Kapag bullish tayo, what we do want to see is for price to finally break above tong 6.2 and try to continue yung momentum that it churned up all the way from here doing that. So you want to see it break 6.2 and let's see from there kung magko-continue yung momentum niya. Kasi diba? Kasi magkiprint na naman siya ng new 52-week highs. Okay? Uh, next, let's take a look at Monde, no? So Monde, ang sabi natin is when we last look at this, naiipit siya dito sa white zone. We tried to break above it here. ba? Diba? Price opened higher. Tried to push up etong 17.16 natin na resistance. ba? Diba? Like we discussed in past videos. But what happened was we still close beneath it. Diba? Nag-close tayo sa shooting star. Today, nag-gap up na naman. Tried to push above it. Ayaw. Nag-collapse. Bumalik tayo sa range na to. So what I don't want to see from here, okay, assuming bullish kayo sa Monday, is your price to break below this range. Baka kasi bumalik na tayo dito sa ilalim na to, which is 15.2 to 16 pesos na area. Now, I'm not saying na may stock siya sa range na yan. Maaring maging tight, maaring maging wide. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, uh, yun yung ayaw kong makita na mag-break tayo below nitong 15.9 na area here. What I want to see is for price to take 17.5 na. Based from the current structure here, hindi na enough na mag siya dito. I want it to break above 17.54 and start holding above it para mabigyan ako ulit ng mas bullish na vibes. But that's just me. Okay, again, kung meron namang kayong entry signal sa kung anumang system na gamit nyo, whether it's technical or fundamental or a mixture of both or whatever, then by all means, go ahead, no? Kasi I'm sure naman na kung ano man yung ginagamit nyo, tinesting nyo naman yan ng mabuti, at nakita nyo naman na over time, it helps you make money. Okay? So, but for me, yun yung gusto ko makita. Break above 17.5 and mag-hold doon para mag-open up tong wider range na to. At ayaw ko makita na mag-break siya below 15.9. Pag nag-break below 15.9, tas pati itong 15.2 ma-break, then balik tayo sa range na to at 14.4 to mga 15 pesos, more or less. Okay, so yun yung ayaw natin makita sa Monday. Uh, next, let's take a look at Aldi. No? So, napapansin nyo, this week, mas binibigyan natin ng pansin yung Aldi. Uh, just because medyo bago pa lang siya, and I do want to help you guys keep track of this as we move along. And as you can see, tinanggal ko ulit lahat ng levels para pag mabatay na 5 minutes, malinis na naman. So again, from the 5-minute chart, ano nangyari? Diba? Bumaba tayo, nag-range tayo here, we broke down. Okay, we broke down here. Ito yung previous range. Lagyan natin ng level, no? Uh, let me turn on the magnet. Yan yung previous range. Diba? Itong area na to. Broke down, nag-hold as resistance push down, tas ngayon para nag range tayo dito. So what I want to see is for price to start trading above 75, hold firm, para mag-open up hanggang dito sa range na to, which is around 80 cents, no? So para mag-open up yung 75 to 80, uh, let me just do that here. Okay? Para mag-open up yung 75 to 80 na range, uh, I want price to start holding above tong level na to, para mag-open to. Then if we can break above 80, that brings this into play hanggang 84. Okay, so, hindi ko talaga alam bakit minsan ang hirap maglagay ng 83, 84 na area. 83. So, pag nabasag yung 83, then that opens up the possibility na babalikan natin yung 90 cents. Okay, but until then, ito yung segmented range na tinitignan ko for all the, at least sa lower time frames. Which honestly, for me right now, is the only way to really look at it kasi wala pa ganong candles sa higher time frames, eh, no? Pwede tayong mag-speculate na sa higher time frame may ganito, may ganyan, but this paints a clearer picture para sa akin of what to expect. So again, break above 0.75, opens up yung range na to hanggang 80, break above 80, 83 cents more or less yung next resistance level, then if we can break above that, that opens up tong range na to hanggang 90. 
Okay? And then finally, let's take a look at AP. So AP, ang sabi natin nun is we wanted it to start holding above tong 32.5 na na area. Unfortunately, after natin mag-break out sa candle na to, ang nangyari lang is we try to push higher, pero wala, no? Tumuloy-tuloy lang siya pababa. Binalikan natin tong range na to kung saan tayo nag-break out. So nasa 32.3 ngayon yung price. Uh, ideally, if bullish tayo ng AP, I want to see price uh, quickly retake tong 32.5 and start holding above it again. Again, that opens up the possibility. So meron na tayong level na malalagay dito. That opens up the possibility na we can come back and trade back to 34. Then if we can break 34, retest yung 35.9 above. Okay? But, kung kunwari, sabihin natin, bumagsak pa to lalo, nag-come back, re-retest to, nag-hold, push down, break, then likely we come back dito sa 30 na area. If we break that, we come back below here. Uh, range na 28.75 hanggang mga 30. And if mabasag pa rin to, bakit kasi? <laughs> Ang kulit nito, ano, talaga sinusundan ako eh. Kasi sana ako nagda-drawing eh. So kapag nabasag pa yung 28.75, this opens up. 26.85 to 28.75. But ideally, hindi na mangyari yun. We want price to come back, retake, sana uh, fake out lang yung nangyari dito. Okay, so we want price to come back and retake uh, itong area na to agad. Hold, come back, break 34, push higher, possibly uh, hanggang 35.9. Okay, so yun po yung sa AP. And dito po nagtatapos yung video natin for today. I hope kahit papano nakatulong po to sa inyo. And again, I apologize that it's being uploaded a little bit later than usual. Okay. And as always, guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really, really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading.